I'm in a hotel. I also kind of have a cold, so bear with me, my voice in this video. I've been unemployed for six months and now I'm in a hotel. How does that relate, you might ask? Well, I filmed an entire video explaining how it relates. Just to find out, in prepping for this trip, I deleted everything off my SD card. Awesome. Really cool. Thought I already had it imported. I did it. Anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here because I'm going to talk about being unemployed for six months, starting my own business, and now, drum roll please, my big announcement, I got a job, which is why I'm in a hotel room. We'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to break this down into a couple parts. First, I want to talk about unemployment and the job market right now because I've been unemployed for six months. Then I want to talk about starting my own business, why I took a job even though I started my own business, um, content creation, this YouTube channel, all of that kind of stuff. And then I want to talk about my new job. I don't know what to do with my hair. It's kind of stressing me out. Okay, that's fine. First, unemployment. If you are not caught up, I got laid off of my job. I was a social media manager working fully remote for a tech company. They let go of a couple of people. I was one of them. It was part of a layoff and I was then unemployed and that was in February. In April, I officially started and got my first two clients of my own business. My own business is a social media marketing business. So I essentially do what I did in my job, but for multiple clients, I really want that to eventually grow into like mostly local clients. I'm going in person and getting videos and photos and stuff like that. So maybe we'll talk about that in depth one day, but anyway, unemployment. Um, yeah, it was a challenge because I went from a year and a half of like complete structure, working from home, steady paycheck to just nothing out of the blue. Um, I didn't really expect it coming so it was a bit of a shock and luckily my husband still has his job. We have good savings and so we we're fine financially. Not as good as we were obviously because I wasn't getting a paycheck but it was still like stressful and a big life change and I decided that I wanted to go back to doing content creation, YouTube and all that full time as well as start my business. But I did try applying to jobs, looking at the job market, talking with other people who got laid off, talking with just like people in general in my field in marketing. Okay, hold on. Where is my phone? I have Indian food on the way, so I gotta make sure. Like, I have to go meet them in the in the lobby if they get here. Mm, okay, I still have a little bit of time. Anyways, um, sorry about that. And from all the research I did and applying to jobs, oh my gosh, the job market sucks right now. Um, as well as just like everything economically sucks right now, the job market sucks right now. And working in tech is great because there's a lot of money in it. There's a lot of growth opportunities. It's new, there's startups, it's fun, but it's also very easy to get let go in these positions. Like my husband, for instance, works in insurance. He's not gonna get let go. Like <laughs> he's good, okay? Me on the other hand, what I do is kind of what people would see as an add-on something that may not be necessary even though I would argue that it is necessary and working in tech you can get let go pretty quickly like that's kind of the overall vibes that I got from people it churns very quickly and even besides marketing or tech or whatever the job market is so rough right now I can't even imagine like graduating college right now and trying to get your first job or internship because it's just rough right now so if you're struggling if you're applying to hundreds of jobs and you're not finding anything I think that is very normal right now unfortunately um, that being said, I want to talk about my own business for a little bit, then we'll talk about my new job and my journey getting this job. So first, my business, like I said, social media marketing. Um, I had two clients and I was planning on going out and growing, but it became obviously a lot harder than I initially thought. My first two clients came very easily. They're basically both referrals and I was managing their socials and I did both of them for three months. I had one of them actually on a three month contract and then just for financial reasons, they both decided to stop the contract and it was really nice because I had all the freedom. I was still doing work. I was still bringing in good money, but having a lot more freedom and being able to work when I decided I wanted to work while still obviously doing the work that needed done. I really enjoyed it. I would still love to grow my business, have clients on the side of the current job that I do have. And eventually my long-term goals are to grow that because I just find it so fun. And I would love, love, love to work with more like actual in-person local clients. That being said, after I lost my two clients, I was like, okay, I need to like get out there and grow my business and go in person to pitch myself to people and reach out to more people and post on like a separate Instagram and Facebook for my business, all that stuff. And I was kind of, you know, thinking like planning on it, but I had all these trips planned. Like we had the Canada trip and then we had the trip with my mom to the Dominican. And I feel like there was something else. Oh, I went to South Carolina and Alabama. Like 
all this stuff was happening in the summer and I was like, you know what, we're pretty good financially. I'm just gonna chill for the summer and like I'll still try to like reach out to people, like email and stuff for clients, but I'm not gonna stress too much about it. So my last like payment I got, last contract from one of my clients was in July. So I really only like had no money coming in in August because I also had gotten severance at my other job. So that was basically like I got a whole two months of money. So, and then I got my first client in April. So I was still getting money this whole time. So that's obviously like a huge, like not everybody gets that when they get laid off. Like I'm so grateful for that and thankful for that. And then also I have content creation, but let's stick, to, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. So yeah, August came around and I was finally back home. All the trips were over and I was like, well, I'm gonna apply to jobs and then I'll just pitch myself as a, like a 1099 contractor instead of being an employee and I also just apply to all these jobs and maybe I actually do want the job there was one local job I really wanted that I didn't end up getting and I just got a notification okay we're good and I was also about to start going in person and pitching myself well during all that I got a random email and it was like hey we found you because of your I got fired video getting laid off video from YouTube and we want to hire you to do the same thing and I was like oh my gosh okay so got on a call with them and this goes into like getting the job I have now so let's just dive into that then I'll come back to content creation in this channel and stuff so the job that I end up getting is a job I did not apply for they reached out to me they found me and they were like please work for us I was like okay we talked about like should I do contract work with them or be fully employed they really wanted me fully employed so I just wanted to hear their offer see if it was something that worked with me and there's a lot of growth opportunity it's also in tech so yeah obviously I have my hesitations but like a job is a job whether <laughs> I keep this job for a really long time or they let me go or whatever happens a job is a job so I accepted the job and that is why I I'm in a hotel room. I am going to be a marketing specialist at this company and I'm the first person they're bringing on for marketing because it is a startup, which is kind of scary, but also gives me a lot of freedom to kind of grow and learn some new things because I'm not just going to be doing social media. So I'll be able to learn a lot just about marketing in general. And I don't have a college degree. I didn't go to college. I learned a lot at my last job, but I really hope to dive into more marketing stuff at this job and then hopefully be able to apply that to my business as well. But my main priority now is this job. Uh, in the future, long term, who knows? I love to have, I love like just staying at a job if they treat me good. So I'd love to stay at this job as long as I possibly could and grow in it. But I also am open to having clients on the side and all of that kind of stuff. And I'm already talking to some people who might want me. Uh, yeah. So anyway, basically that would be like on the weekends after work type of work, growing my business, freelance work, one might say, because <laughs> that's what it is. Anyways. So, um, part of my first week of work is coming to Vegas, which is where their corporate office is. So I'm currently in Las Vegas, Nevada in a hotel room by myself. I'm doing a whole vlog of it. Don't even worry. Okay. It's coming. But yeah, I'm here alone. I've never really just like traveled alone, been in a hotel room alone. I'm like, okay, this is crazy. Like look behind me. I'm just here. Okay. My husband didn't come. It's just me. I am here Monday through Friday. I go into work tomorrow, my first day of work. So stay tuned for the vlog to hear how it went. I've never worked in person before. So I'm excited to kind of meet everyone in person, do some in-person work because I feel like that does help you connect with the group a little bit better or the team and like get to know the product and everything. So I am quite excited about this job opportunity and the growth that can come with it. Working at a startup has a lot of benefits. So, you know, it's just different than working at like a well-established company and I'm excited. It's, it's definitely something that I have no idea what's going to happen. So stay tuned, I guess, but I'm going back to my corporate lifestyle nine to five Monday through Friday. And even though the freedom was really nice, I feel like I did miss the schedule of nine to five. Like I have to be somewhere from nine to five. So I don't know. I just work really well with like a schedule and kind of being told in some sense what to do. It is really challenging to be um, like fully self-sufficient in your own business, whether that's content creation or your own like business like I had or both. But let's talk about that for a second. Okay. Content creation, YouTube channel, TikTok. I post on both of those a lot. I have a book channel, I have this channel, and I at least used to post quite a bit on TikTok and I want to keep doing that. I'm a little lost. Okay. Like my legs, first of all, are so tired. I'm going to sit down here. Sorry, I'm going to be way down here right now. Here, I can move back a bit. Um, I'm a little lost at what to do on this channel. Last time I had a full-time job, I barely posted. Like, I maybe posted 10 times the whole time, year and a half that I had that job, and then I had a lot of catch-up to do. Like, unfortunately, I didn't get a ton of content around, like, moving and my wedding and all that because I was working a full-time job, and part of my full-time job includes video editing and all this stuff, so it's like, do I want to do that after work as well? So that was definitely a challenge, and I see that that's going to be a challenge going into it again. I used to do YouTube full-time. It's not what it used to be and that's totally fine my channel peaked maybe when I was like 16 17 that was such a fun time in my life and I'm so 
so thankful for everyone who watched then and people who still watch now and if you don't that's fine but the truth is that my channel just isn't what it used to be it's not a full-time job it probably never will be again and to be completely honest I'm kind of glad I don't really want to have YouTube ever be like my full-time job just because and this is what I'm gonna talk to you guys about I don't love being vulnerable anymore on the internet I used to love doing it I used to love vlogging every single day and talking about what's going on you met all my friends and you knew what was going on and then you know my life kind of turned into a lot of chaos and drama was happening and I felt like YouTube was very involved in my life like too much and I just like feel like I'm a lot more of a reserved person even with people around me unless you're really close to me I don't really open up and I'm especially not going to open up a lot on the internet so that does make it challenging when this is like a vlog channel about my life what the heck do I post about without like exposing things in my life that I don't want to talk about and it is challenging to be judged for literally everything you do when you have like a lifestyle based content channel all right checking on the food hold on Okay, we still have a little bit longer. <laughs> That's why I started a book channel. I love reading and if I could just post on my book channel all the time and that was my full-time job, that'd be amazing, but I don't, I'm not relying on that. It's for fun. I like doing it. So if you like reading, definitely go subscribe. It's in the link in the description. Um, I haven't been as active on there just because August has been a bit of a crazy month, but I'm caught up on my, all my reading. I'm editing a video right now for it. But basically, I only have a passion to post on that channel because it's not about me. It's about something that we can all talk about and enjoy and agree on together. It's not exposed my own life and that's a challenge with this channel because it's mostly just like vlogs and I don't know what to do with it I really don't like I've had a couple of ideas about you know I don't know I just like trying something for a week but I feel like there's so many channels like that but there's also a ton of vlog channels I don't know honestly guys I just don't have a crazy passion for my main YouTube channel anymore unfortunately I went from like posting every day to getting burnout and I feel like I never fully recovered from that burnout and especially now that I'm a lot more of a private person and my husband's a pretty private person and once we start a family and have kids like I'm not going to be posting my kids online and that's going to be my main priority so I just I find it challenging to see like a future for this channel which is so sad to say because y'all have been with me literally since I was 14 especially if you're like an OG watcher but that being said I also don't want to quit and just not post so I don't have anything to say I don't have any promises I don't have any guarantees I'm not going to sit here and say oh, I'm still going to try to post once a week or every other week because that might not happen I don't know but I still like the idea of maybe doing like weekly vlogs, but then every time I sit down to edit one, I hate everything about my videos. It's like a long thing. It's kind of all in my head, but the summaries that I just don't really have a passion for it or know what to talk about or know what to do on this channel. But like, this is so fun for me. Like I'm really enjoying sitting and talking to the camera and talking about something that doesn't necessarily have to do with me personally. It's just like general like work stuff. And then I'm vlogging this week and just kind of talking about my first week at work. So maybe if my videos were just surrounded around work working from home and you know my chill lifestyle it's not the most entertaining I'm not going to be traveling all the time and hanging out with people all the time but if y'all want to see me like do my before work morning routine after work night routine um playing pickleball going to the gym and just living like a very basic life that's what you're going to expect from me because I just don't have anything else to offer other than that and you also can't expect me to open up and be super vulnerable about things in my life anymore because that's just that's just where I'm at I don't know if it's because I'm older or I just been through a lot but but yeah, I just felt like I really needed to update you guys on that because I think you've noticed that I haven't really been posting much even though I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a job anymore. I'm going to post all the time. Yeah, no, um... Yeah, that died out quickly, but you'll still be able to see me here, here and there on there. Actually, I'm kind of getting more excited about it. The more I'm talking about it, I'm like, wait, all those videos that do sound fun to make. I just can't guarantee amounts or it, like when I can post. I just It's just going to be when it happens, okay? Because at this point, it's like a small little community of us on here, and I love that. So just keep those notifications on, and you'll see when I post. And if you follow me on Instagram, which I post on my story quite a bit there, I'll always throw a link on there when I do post a new video. That being said, if you want to see me more often, it'll definitely be more like on my book channel and on TikTok. Um, I don't love doing like vlogs and stuff on TikTok because if I'm going to put that energy in, I'd rather it be for this channel. But if you want to see like little book reviews or I might start posting more Christian content or just stuff like that, you can go to my TikTok, which is also down below. Now this is just being like a shameless plug video. So I'm going to stop now. Basically, I have a job and this is what I've been doing for the last six months. Basically just enjoying life. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, hearing me out, sitting with me while I ramble. Um, my food is almost here. I'm very excited. I'm very hungry. So I'm going to end this video now and I will see you next time when I'm doing my vlog about this week and hopefully I can get over my cold tonight because I'm about to sneeze. I can feel it coming and I'm stuffed and I sound crazy. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.